Hi guys, it's Ali and Thea, and we're back with another episode of the Undecided Gen Z. This is the podcast where we talk about everything going on in our world, your world, and the world around us from a Gen Z perspective. What is going on? Hope everybody is going amazing. It's a new week. It's a new day. It's winter is it a new currently. Week? It's Friday. <laughs> oh. It's Friday, the new Monday in 2021. No, I mean, for the podcast, it's another episode of the podcast. Oh, yeah. yes. The new calendar year is by the Undecided Gen Z podcast <laughs> release. Exactly. So there is now only like 20 weeks in a year. Okay. Give us a little more credit. <laughs> <laughs> No, but um, I hope everybody's doing amazing, keeping safe during COVID as per usual, um, and living their best lives. Oh, how have you been there? Oh, actually, oh, oh. I skip. I skip <laughs> right ahead. <there. laughs> She's getting ahead of herself. She's excited. She's like, I got a con- <laughs> um, a geek to get to. <laughs> no, um, actually, we've decided. Oh, wait, hold on. What? I'm gonna. This is up. unprecedented. What is? I'm pulling up the thing. The. What is happening right now? Remember what we talked um, about? I didn't. I don't remember what we talked about. I'm scared. Um. So I think it's really important for us to start doing oh, this. And I talked to Theo yes, about it. So it yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, we're cool. I think it's really important for us to acknowledge the land and the custodians. So I'll just do this acknowledgement to country. Um. So before we be- begin today's episode, we would like to acknowledge the Gadigal and Wur- Wurundji people, past, present of the. Yoroa and Wurrung Nation, who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we are meeting upon today. It always was and always will be Aboriginal land. And there's yes. multiple reasons why... Actually, there's not multiple reasons. I actually don't know why we haven't done that before. I hosted my first radio show the other day and we always do it at the beginning of the radio show. And I was like, well, that's something yeah. we've forgotten and is very important. So we will be doing that from now on. And yes. Yes. So now we can get into the episode. Definitely. Theory, a review. Okay. So we, we, we've got another one. Guys, we're going. This is our best <laughs> review streak probably ever, I think. What, what was it? <laughs> three in a row? No. I think we had quite a few. But this week's review of the week. And if you want to get in this coveted spot, head, head over to Apple Podcasts and drop a rating and review. Five stars, four stars, three stars, preferably not below that, but any stars, <laughs> check a rating, review. But this one comes in from the iconic JJ Smiley Face. And they iconic. said- Iconic. I've never heard that name before. <laughs> <laughs> no, we stand JJ Smiley Face. Sorry, sorry. Our I, best listener. I do stand. I just haven't heard Well, wait till you, before, wait till you hear what they say before you make a judgment. Oh, no. <laughs> the subject was- um, I, I was trying to think of something mean to say as a joke, but then I was like, no, nah, that just isn't a good vibe. It said, my internet BFFs. I cannot stress this enough. This is the best podcast. I listen to it while I'm driving and it feels like I'm just having a conversation with my best friends the whole time. Ali and Theo's relationship and different life experiences give a great perspective that I feel like anyone could relate to. Love you besties. Keep up the good work. Ha <laughs> ha. 10 out of 10. Love heart. That is so lovely. Thank you, JJ. Now you'll be iconic Conf- and we'll yes. I'll review your name. <laughs> we do stand JJ Smiley Face. <laughs> we do. I never didn't stand. I just didn't remember, didn't know the name. But I'm just saying, we so don't always so have much. the nicest reviews. You need to hear it first. Really? I mean, okay, maybe like twice. <laughs> and they weren't like mean reviews. They were just a little critical. of, And I think of just of me, not of you. Oh, just me. Mm. <laughs> True. Maybe it's my turn oh. to be humbled. I'm not sure if I've really got much hate. No, it's hard it's being. Me. This I just perfect. always get the hate. Welcome to the life of a f- woman. Am I right? Yes, you are right. Can't talk too much. Can't talk too loud. Oh, it's oh, a hard life. It is a hard knock life, as some would say. Some being Annie <laughs> from the orphanage. Anyway, we have <laughs> we have a. Spectacular episode today. We've got some really big updates. I We've think- got a guest. I'm- oh, wait. I literally forgot. Guys, I'm terrified. Is- I, I'm like, terrified. I was freaking out. I was on the phone to my friend and I was like, oh, I've got something on. I've got a, something on and I forgot what it is. And I was like, it's it's in the morning. It's something important. And then I was working through everything I had. And then I was like, oh, no. I was like, oh it's the interview <laughs> at 10 a.m. The feet guy. Yes. So- the day has come. Guys. That we are going to be speaking a bit later into the podcast with Mr. Feedpix, the dude that has been in my DMs since the start. Actually, what we discovered since 2016 on Twitter initially, 
asking to buy my feet picks and what has developed into all kinds of other picks. And we're going to get the inside look into what it is like to be one of the people who sits behind an anonymous account on Instagram and slides into people's DMs asking to buy feet picks. I'm so I'm so curious. I just can't believe I'm wasting my Saturday morning talking to a feet picks guy. What? <laughs> no offense, no offense to him, but like it's kind of odd. It's just kind feet picks guys are humans too. And he actually, so he said to me in the DMs, he's like, by the way, could I get a nickname, like a proper nickname like everyone else? And I was like, what do you mean? You, you're like a uh, Feepix dude, Mr. Feepix, like take your pick. Oh, sorry. Everybody else has a nickname because they're my love interests. I don't want <laughs> Feepix to be in the same category. Well, Feepix is my love interest, so oh. no. But um, then he said, no, like an actual name. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, oh, well, I kind of wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, it would be kind of nice to be humanized. <laughs> I was like, okay. So his fake name could be fake, could be real. I, I think it's fake because I did find I out his real name. I don't think he gets to choose. Oh. And by the way, everybody oh. else has been yeah. dehumanized okay. too. Every like basketball guy, um, lost item. Oh. Hoop was a nice Hoop. little uh, two episode Hoop story. Hoop was disgusting. Oh, oh yeah, Remember yes, he, true, yeah. True, true. The comments. <laughs> he was a nice guy. <laughs> no, no, no. The storyline. Um, like, I, yeah, no. Okay, anyway. The storyline. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Um, then there was... Forgotten item. That is so global, human. Forgotten item. That <laughs> is global <laughs> politics, boy. Like, that's not human. Well, at like, least he's on. a boy. Well, Feepix guy. Well, Hoop. Hoop wasn't a boy. That's it. That's, yeah, no, exactly. You know what I mean? Uh, well, anyway. Then he's we have suge- Bad Guy. Oh. Was his name Bad Guy? I don't, I don't think I we don't ever... Know. He didn't really make enough of an impact to get a official nickname, I don't well, he think. Still, he still listens to the podcast, I'm pretty sure. Um, he listens, well, he responds to our stories every now and then. He does, he does. Anyway, he suggested the name Adam, so Mr. Feepix, Adam, whatever. Adam. No, I'm sorry, you're being called Mr. Feepix. <laughs> Adam, just, Adam is not going to cut it. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, we'll talk about how we're going to best approach it in a, in a little bit, like halfway through the pod, but... We got some juicy stuff to get to before then, but I'm mm. seeing you scared. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> hoping he cancels. No, no, he won't. Hopefully. So, how have you been? How was your week? What's what's been going on? Ooh, I'm trying to think back to like what I've been doing. Oh, I flew um back to Melbourne for a couple of days. Ooh. I had a had a little photo shoot that I went back for. Um, so that was really good, really fun. And so, are you getting like, back into friends. the modeling grind? Um, we'll see, we'll see. This one was really good. Like it was like a a campaign shoot, but also a lookbook. So you just have to like, I don't know if you like when you go online shopping, you see like the models, you know, just standing there with the clothes on. It was like a look yes. from like sides and doing that. Do you feel like and- a, when you're like flying between states, you're like, wow, I'm like flying for a model shoot, just flying down to Melbourne. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to lie a little bit. Like, it was so awkward. Like, stepping like, onto the plane to- with your glasses on. Like, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. But, oh, my God. I actually had a, a horrible experience. So, I was, like, trying to be cheap and savvy of, like, where to stay because I couldn't stay back at my mum's for because, like, of the restrictions. I couldn't go to regional Victoria. So, I was like, oh, I'll stay at this, like, Airbnb that, like, was a boutique boutique hotel so i got to the place and i was like oh oh no and then i go in and it's like a weird like check-in type of thing and it seems like a little sketchy and it's like kind of near fitzroy gardens it's like a little bit of a sketchy area and i like go up to like i get the key for my room and i go into my room and i'm like oh it looks okay and then i like walk around my room because like just to do a quick check and everything and there's like a wet a wet face oh. washer on the bedside oh. table. And at that point, I wanted to die. I was like, I can't stay here. And like, you I don't... Uh, it made me feel so gross. <laughs> made me feel so gross. And then I, like, checked the bathroom. And the bathroom was just, like, grotty and gross. And I was like, I need to get out of here. Anyway, I, like, left and I, like, went for dinner. And it was actually super nice. I... Well, for so long, for like an hour or so, I tried to get somebody to go out for dinner with me. Because I was like, I don't want to go alone. Nobody responded to any of my no. stories. Nobody, no friends were available. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up going out alone, right? Yeah. And it was super nice. Like, at first, I was so anxious and I, like, wanted to die. I literally wanted to die. But I had that book and I had, like, my, like, not journal that I, like, journal in. So I took yeah. that and, like, 
I went out to this like 24 hour like Mexican place. I got oh. myself a margarita, some oh. nachos. Okay. And then I was like writing in my journal and like reading my book. And I just sat Add there for dinner outside. Alone, June 7th. Yeah. <laughs> I- <laughs> And I sat there just reading my book for hours while, like, people walk past. This was on Brunswick Street. People just walk past and, like, but so many people were giving me such odd looks. Like, because I, I was sitting there vividly really? by myself, like, with one one water glass, a margarita to myself, like, sitting there reading. And so many people, like, walked past and were just like, no. Nah. And I was I mean- like, <laughs> they were probably thinking, then, wow, good on good on her. That's cool. I mean After a while though, I yeah. kept being like, you know what? I'm the main character here. I was like, all of you losers have to have friends and have to go out by yourself like with other people. And here I am, yeah. content by myself. Um, Your Instagram so was- story progression was just like <laughs> so funny for no reason. Like it starts with Ali, which is in the city. She's like, Anyone keen for a nightcap? Which by the way, I was like Probably for stars, the reason no one has responded is because what is a nightcap? What kind of nightcap 18th century like lingo dinner. is this? It's oh, and okay. then so, the next one, she's like, thoughts on eating out alone? Yes, no, no. And there's like a poll, I, like, and then no. I had a, first, I had a picture of me eating out alone, and I was like, off to a good start or something. And then I did do you eat out okay, alone. I yes apologize or no. for not memorizing the story sequence precisely. <laughs> But it was just like this build up, and then at the end, she's like doing a motivational story. Like everyone should like be happy in themselves, and like everyone needs to try this once in their life. Well, that was like everybody does need to go out by themselves because it was a really good experience. Um, and like usually I can go like get coffee or breakfast or like lunch alone because you know you can have your laptop or it's like normal. True. But at night, like, yeah. it's such like a intimate with the book like, too. Usually, yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. It's like usually like a thing that you do with somebody else, like. You know, you don't you don't see many people sitting there by themselves having dinner. I would just feel like well, the restaurants like, mm, what are they doing? Just one person like, get out, move along. We've got more customers. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. When I first like went and I was like standing in line to be like seated, they were like, oh, how many people? And I was like, oh, just one. They're like, oh, just one. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like yeah. and then and the like, people oh, behind you in line then. just kind of give you a little solemn look, like, mm. yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, just over there then. And then I just sat at this table for two people and she brought out the one glass with a bottle of water. And I was like, oh, a little bit sad. But then that was all fine. Yeah. Then I went back to the place and I was like, oh, my God, I cannot stay here another night. I can't. The face wash is still on the bench. Well, no, I like flicked it off. I flicked it off. (laughs) Um, But then like everything was just grotty and it like made me feel like ill. Anyway. So, and I knew the next night that I would be really drunk because I was going out for a friend's birthday. I knew I was going to be drunk and I was like, I don't feel safe coming back here alone. So I was like, (laughs) I've got to move hotels. So I booked myself another hotel. And then before my shoot in the morning, I literally packed up my whole bag, went to this next hotel. And then the hotel that I was staying on, staying at was like a legit hotel. So they were like, we need to see like, we need your ID. And they like checked my ID and it's like, your ID says you live in regional Victoria. And I was like, no, I literally just flew from Sydney. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I flew from Sydney and haven't been in regional Victoria. And they're like, mm, can you prove this? I was like, oh, I have flight details. Like I'm here for like a yeah. job. And they're like, what job? Like, do you have things? And I was like, like well, and I had model. to be like, I was like, I was literally like, oh, it's a modeling job. Like there's no like official paperwork. She's like, do you have anything to show that you've got this? So then I had to like send her the Jeepers. details of my modeling shoot. And it was just like a very pretentious thing. When anybody asked me like, if I have like, w- like I was like to people before I went down to Melbourne, oh, I've got to go. I'm go- actually going down to Melbourne. They're like, what for? And I'm like, ah. Oh, Nothing. You were so weirdly like- self conscious about this. Like even the first time when you started this so and refused like you said we could not speak about it on the podcast. You're like, people can't know I'm modeling. Like you're so yeah, because, weird like, about it. It's like, yes, I model, yes, I'm going down to moment. Like it's so ugh, like makes you wanna die. Anyway, that went really well. Apart from that, before I left for that, I finished off my whole course, which was really amazing. Yes. Um, congratulations. I've done that. Thank you. I've applied for the diploma now. And then ever since I got back from the shoot from like Melbourne, I've slept for like 30 hours. <laughs> oh. Uh, and I don't know if it's oh. because like in the past month, I've like haven't been able to sleep before 3 a.m. for like a whole month. And it's just like really exhausted me and my body's just like catching up. Yeah. But I, yeah, I slept for so long. Like yesterday, I woke up at 12. 
uh, after sleeping for 38, like not 30 straight hours, but in and out, like just couldn't even like function when I was awake. And then woke up yesterday feeling averagely okay. And then today I felt good. Must have needed it. Mm. No, this is like yeah. a little thing you do. It's like every six months, you like can't <laughs> never sleep up all night, like on Spotify. I'm just like, wait, she's still up. And then <laughs> every, they like just crash and disappear and die. Yeah. And you're like, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like all these people like Theo was like messaging me and messaging me in between like sleeping my sleeping periods and he was like are you mad at me or something and I was like no I've just only been awake for like <laughs> for like 20 <laughs> minutes to like respond and I haven't had the mental maybe capacity maybe you're a bear to and like this is your hibernation maybe maybe honestly I wouldn't put it past me at this point because like something <laughs> um, but it happens in summer too it's not like it's a winter thing oh, okay but then, yeah, other than that, before I went to Melbourne, I went on that date, which oh. we'll get into later on. <laughs> we but... definitely will. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's been me. What's been you there? You, well, actually, you had no power. That's oh, I know. And this was like, we like teased it last week because if yeah. you remember, we were recording last week and my power went off for like 20 minutes and I came back on the podcast. And I was like, I feel like I stepped into the 18th century. <laughs> like, what was I supposed to do for 20 minutes? Guys, shortly after we recorded that, there was like, I think maybe like the day or two after, these huge ass storms um, all across the state where I live. And literally just power gone, internet gone, everything gone. And it was just like the, the weirdest experience. Like I woke up expecting the next day, like it had been out all night and I woke up the next day expecting, like, oh, I'll be chill. I wake up, yeah. my phone's like dead. I can't charge it. I run in to see a clock and it's like, it's 10 a.m. on a, like a work day. I'm like, I'm supposed to be at work. What's going on? And my dad's like, the roads are all like down. Like there's and there's no power in across the whole state. Like we can't go anywhere. And I look outside and it's just like a ravaging storm and there's like trees everywhere. I'm like, what the so heck? Extra laugh. Oh, no, no, it was, it was so traumatic. weird. No, like my mom was telling me, she's like, yeah, we haven't had power for two days. I was like, if I was there, I would not function. No hot water. No, thank you. No, no charging things. No, no, thank you. You can't no, even watch any- movies to pass the time. What Legit. I'm like, okay, let's just like check on the TV. We could, uh, I actually was like, oh, we could watch a DVD at least because we don't need internet. It's like, no, you can't <laughs> use the TV at all. I'm like, wait, what? Hold, hold on a second. <laughs> and then there's no like lights or anything. And it just like it felt so strange and weird. I read a whole book, um, which was the first like fiction book I've read in maybe 15 years. Which was well, actually sorry to like change the topic from you, but on that topic, I was listening back to last week's episode when we were talking about this, and we sound so fucking privileged. We're Wait, like, oh, we're like, oh, no, oh we probably. no power. How could we survive when all these countries literally don't have power, don't have like heaters, don't have this, don't have that? They have to survive. Or oh, they just live like this in general. <laughs> and then here we are for like a couple of days or like not even me, but just be like, stop, oh my stop. God, I'm literally. No, and I openly one- admit those people are like so strong no. and I'm weak and but no, privileged. In the episode, I'm like, yeah, I don't even know how I'm dealing right now. Like I've had to turn off my heater to record. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening back being like, that is I mean, embarrassing. I'm not denying it. We're, just, we're weak, like privileged humans. But I'm yes. weak. Are you just oh. well, it's just like goes to it just shows like how much we rely on that stuff when you don't have it, mm. like all that, like all yeah. of it. Like it was just such a weird experience. It was only like even a couple of days, but even just like not be able to contact anyone because they for some reason True. also like the the you know like the three so, G like, like actual reception was kind of not working either. So yeah. it's like so about just to connect it at one point. Like me and my sister drove to like a town, a couple of towns over where there was internet, and we felt like we'd stepped into a whole new world. <laughs> It was like, this is like eight hours so into did the you like being out. have to shower in the cold? I didn't. Water? No, there's cold no water. water. Oh, cold water. <laughs> well, we discovered like there was one running tap because it's like lower than a tank. So my dad's like, now if you want to clean, you could go out and use that tap and like splash it over your body. And I was like, what? <laughs> so you going just out? didn't have a shower for like three days. Yeah. I mean, it was just... Oh it, was, it was it was weird. Not. Um, I could not. But now now that you've mentioned that, I'm thinking about that. Just thinking about all the <laughs> like African people Sorry. that are even if um, yeah that are splashing themselves right now and having to walk miles for water. So I am sorry. It's true though. It's not African people have 
power either. You mean but not, some African villages. So, I mean, yeah, I don't mean to generalize either. <laughs> You're like African people. Not just I'm African like, in excuse- general. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, people, people in poor, poverty-stricken third world countries where they don't have access to running water. Or electricity. Yes. Um, I could never. I'm, I'm just obviously, like, me being in, like, a dirty hotel room, I'm like, I have to get a new hotel room because I'm like, I have to go somewhere else because I can't handle it. <laughs> that was a wet um, face, shot. <laughs> well, it's just gross. No, I mean, that's not a vibe. It's so gross. But, yes. but, yeah. And we only just got out of lockdown today. Only could just see people. But I've had a sudden, over the last few days, a sudden change of, like, identity. I am suddenly so <laughs> over being the lockdown lover, like introvert. I love just like not seeing people. <laughs> I'm desperate to like leave this house, like see different people and go somewhere. Like tonight is a Friday night. I'm like, it. you're going to like a gig. I'm like, I just want to like, go somewhere. I'm sick of this. <laughs> because like, for, live. for so long I've been like, no, this is a vibe. Like I'm so glad I don't have to see people. I, I'm over it. Like now I understand those people that have to be doing something, you know, you know, those social people you see on like social media, um, mm-hmm. that and it's like, every single day. how does your battery last that long? Cause they're just with friends like every single day. I couldn't do it though. I couldn't, I couldn't be with somebody like friends every single day. Like it would actually kill me. Like no, my I, whole mental capacity just couldn't handle it. I agree. However, at this point I'm like, well, I mean, one night might be nice. Like, <laughs> let me see someone. I'll take, I'll take one friend. <laughs> oh. We survived. Fortunately, because I still have, still have a roof and a house and a warm bed. So I'm sorry <laughs> for being awful. And, and power. <laughs> and power. Anyway, yeah. it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of this episode. The good stuff, the juice, the hot topics. The meat and potatoes. Sorry, the meat and potatoes. Well, is that like, you know, the main substance, like the... The thickness of it all. Okay. This okay, is where it okay. lies. Yeah. This is where people have been asking. They've been begging us all week to find out what's happening. Your drive-in date. The yes. first official of what has been a multi-episode saga leading up to this moment. <laughs> Guy number four, the relationship has been growing, but we took it to the next stage by going on a drive-in date, which you mentioned last week. Yes, we went on the drive-in date. So Monsters, Inc. Um, but it was really cute. Oh, but <laughs> Sorry. I was like, is she gonna is she gonna bring it up, or I'm gonna have to cut her off here? I because was ready to skip. Past. She's, she's <laughs> Ali, I was ready to if you, if you think Ali's <laughs> uncomfortable, she is like she's uncomfortable because a few days before the drive-in date, there was a situation which went down, which uh, I'm not sure. Like when we finished, when this when this was over, I was like, I wasn't sure about the future of this drive-in date. I didn't know where we would be after the day. You were like, he's going to (laughs) cancel. I thought he's going to cancel. He's going to like throw eggs at you when you show up. I don't know. (laughs) This is all a big prank. So we went, well, do you want to kick us off? What what happened? So I finished, I finished all of my assignments. I finished everything for my course. I was like, it was a Tuesday night. I was like, there's no one to go out with. I don't want to go out with alone. I was like, I know what to do. I'll message Theo. I get us on like Instagram live and I'll have a drink to celebrate. I'll like pop this like champagne just, uh, that I have. It's a cheeky flute of champagne. Yeah, just, just like a one or two, glass of champagne. One or two or three uh, or four. Okay, but five no, or my six. theory was I don't have a champagne plugger to keep it fresh. So if oh, I'm gonna open oh, the champagne, I'll have oh, to drink it all. Oh, yep. um, um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 I'm hearing it. We, we went on live. I was chilling yes. at the start. I was just having a little drink. We're having some fun. By the start, she means the first two or three minutes. Um, no, I mean she the swiftly... like, first 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> first half an hour, right? But no, she put, we're just having a nice chat celebrating the fact that Ali had finished this because it was exciting because you... No, I don't know if, what... You maybe want to like speak a bit about this, the fact that you had finished this and for you, you felt like it was one of the first big things that you've completed yes like it literally is well as you guys know if you've listened to the podcast if not hello um hey. but if you haven't listened to the podcast <laughs> before i didn't finish high school and then i went back to try and finish high school at uni didn't finish that like i finished some units but didn't finish all four of them i only did two 
So then I was like, I'll do a certificate. So I'm up in Sydney doing the certificate and I finished it. I've, com- I've fully completed it. Oh! And it's the first thing I've actually like finished. Like obviously, you know, like grades and stuff or like whatever you finish grades, but like the first like certificate or like school thing that I've accomplished. So it's a really big deal, such a big deal that I actually felt a bit like odd and weird about it. Because I was like, this isn't in my like genetics. I was like, this doesn't, this doesn't like. <laughs> this is a storyline we haven't story encountered line. before. Yeah, <laughs> it was like this doesn't like follow the whole life plan that the <laughs> life has like followed out. Like I was like, this feels odd. Yeah, I was like ready to fail. I was ready to just be like in my comfort zone to be like, oh, I didn't finish another thing, but I did. So it was a really big deal, and I was really proud of myself. I still kind of am. Um, yeah, and I was like gotta celebrate ready to celebrate. celebrate so so she has did. a bottle yeah we did it was a good it was a good time there was lots, some listeners there um tuning in celebrating ali gave a couple of speeches she finishes the sh- bottle of champagne and we're just like it, it, we're about like maybe uh, how long was this thing do you reckon like two hours an hour and a half i don't know but we're about halfway through we haven't even mentioned guy number four at this point someone no. in the live chat brings it up and says Oh, how's are you excited for the drive-in date or whatever? Based on the fact that we'd mentioned it last podcast, so yeah. Ali starts answering this person and talking about guy number four. Uh, she's definitely a bit feeling it a little bit at this I'm point. Just a bit like letting loose a little bit, talking she's, a bit too much. We're in a say. comfortable place. We've got our closest listeners that come to the lives. That's when you know they're serious. When oh. right in the middle of her sentence. Guy number four joins the love. Just pops in. Just uh, just has to happen when we're talking about him. Mid sentence. And I don't think you noticed like straight away, but I'm like looking at the chat at the time and I see guy number four has joined. And I just scream and I'm like, (laughs) I mean, I didn't want to make too obvious what it was, but I was just like trying to drown you out. And. You're just like, yeah, I just like, I'm excited for the day. Or what, I, we have a recording and I'm just oh. wondering, <laughs> I'm just wondering how much of this live stream you actually recall. I don't remember a lot. I do kind of remember when he came in. I remember we, I remember like people like asking, oh, what does he look like or something like that? I was like, I'll just show a photo. And like, I pull up this photo <laughs> on my iPad of him and like show a photo. <laughs> Luckily yeah, that, he wasn't yeah. in there for that. And then he came like a minute after or like 30 seconds mm. after I'd like put down my iPad. Thank God. Um, and they'd all be like, who is it? Who is it? And you're like, no, no, I want to just like keep it a bit anonymous. The person joins. Then- we're all screaming. At- <laughs> Ellie's like, go away. He's here. He's here. And everyone's like, oh, so it's oh, so and so. That's him. That's him. <laughs> this is the moment he joins the love. Exactly. Like, drive-ins could, like, mean something, like, more. Oh. And, like, oh. maybe we'll kiss at the drive-in. <laughs> yeah, like, I watched him so much. Like, <laughs> like, you have to conjuring because then you'd cuddle up to it. Does he, though? Does he? <laughs> he has no, joined the stream. Oh, God. The delayed Go reaction. away. Can you not come on? We're talking about oh, no. well, 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 <laughs> you. I'm thinking that my screaming is completely <laughs> drowning you out and oh, it's doing nothing. Derek is literally here. You oh, only oh, shut oh, up. Oh, 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 Can we just oh, 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 just keeps going. <laughs> Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay, that's enough. Um, He's here. Wait, he wait. To- oh. Merch. It's just uh. you screaming for ages and then me just going, stop. And then for some reason, I'm like picking up my camera to look better. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's here, but I still have to look good. Uh, now, keep oh in mind, God. guys, in all of this, this is the girl that wanted to keep, wanted to like take this. Take this slow, like, not be too open with her feelings. She didn't want to tell him about the podcast. She wanted to hear what he thought first. And then suddenly he joined <laughs> and you're talking about him and the date on a random live stream with a bunch of people watching. Yeah. Really great, guys. I love it. I really love my life. It's amazing. Um, I'm so happy with all of my decisions. I'm really happy. <laughs> So, well, so, so happy. fortunately, your decisions get even uh, better 
because as because he does actually listen to your plea and he like left for a while right mm-hmm. and then we're just talking about whatever he eventually pops back in and it's fine because we're just talking like about random stuff um and i think and I, at this point you're like oh i don't care if he's here it's chill you i don't know if it was you like just overcome by the drinking that's just wanted you to open up or the fact that the people in the live stream commenting were being very provocative and we're like Ali, what do you think of guy number four? Like, tell us more while he's mm. there. And we're like, guys, don't say anything. But you start <laughs> to be quite open and basically just <laughs> do not hold back with how you feel. Love. We love, we love, we love. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Could not be happier <laughs> in this moment. Um, yes. Um, it hurts. It hurts. Like, looking back on this, I'm like, why do I do this every single time? Like, it's not even a one-time thing. Like, it's like somehow I tend to, like, fuck something up. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spoilers? Um, no. <laughs> Sorry. So, I do have a clip of this as well. Now, unfortunately, the live stream was very long, so this is a small portion of a lot of things which was said. Um, but I'm just going to play a bit to give you guys the sense of what was happening in this moment. And keep in mind, the whole time, I'm kind of thinking like, and I'd love to hear people's thoughts on this. Am I a bad friend if I'm sitting there thinking, Ali, I know, wouldn't necessarily want to say this if she was in a sober state of mind. So should I be like ending the stream saying, that's enough. But at that point, everyone in the comments is like, no, Theo, don't be boring. And you're like, no, this is fine. So I'm like, in that moment, am I supposed to be shutting it down? Yes. I am. The answer is yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, that'd be weird because that's what I thought, but everyone's like, no, no, she's fine. Leave her be. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is a little part of the conversation. I mean, he's a babe. Yeah, he's a babe. Yeah, he is a babe. Gary, mm. you're a babe. Oh. No. I'd been afraid to say that. You should oh. be. And a keeper. Oh. This I don't is know someone's comment. Oh. I think he's a keeper. Who you knows? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. We're a babe, Ali. Yeah, good job, Ali. But what are you saying good job to me for? <laughs> See, this is where I can become confused. <laughs> Should I pretend I didn't hear this when you're I'm so I'm so drunk. No, oh, I'm stumbling here. my words. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this bit is important. So, at this point, he actually left a comment and said, should I pretend I didn't hear this tomorrow when you're sober? This was your response. Poor Ali's literally, if you could see her, she is dying. Should I pretend I didn't hear this when you're sober? No, hear it. Feel it. It's great. Your brand is transparency anyway. It's just your usual. No, it should be. <laughs> it should not be. <laughs> my new my, brand is yeah, like, not transparent. Trans- my <laughs> brand is transparent. Like, why bo- beat around the bush? Oh. I think because uh, you should. <laughs> oh. I vibe. He's an attractive person. Oh. He's somebody. <laughs> I find attractive. I said that three times in a row. I think I have. Stop. And that's all I've got to say. You should have said. Is he a baby? I don't know yet. (laughs) She said, like, I said that's all I've got to say. But I do talk a lot about my love life on the podcast. That's all I've got to say. say That's why why people know about you. He is attractive. Oh, no. I'm just looking at you right now. Like, how did I think it wasn't a good idea? I'm so drunk. <laughs> Please, everyone, go. Oh, to, I don't know. I don't even know if Ali will let me put this on the video, but oh I will look. Look at that image. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so gone. Oh my god, no. Okay, that was like more. <laughs> that makes me want to die. Like that actually. Like why he still talks to me after that? Oh, who knows? Yes. So this is. The live stream wraps up. Um, it was it was overall a good time. We got a viewer on Ella Al Watkins at one point, and she was like, "Did we?" Yes. <laughs> and Did she we was actually? basically doing like a speech about like how proud she was of you, and 
I don't remember like, this. Then Ali does her like, guys, I finished something for the first time speech for the fourth no, time. What? And- <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I just like what? I'm so confused. I don't remember any of that. I don't remember Ali coming on. Yes. Nothing. Anyway, um, that is the backing we've got prior to the date three days later. So that makes me want to die. At this point, um, we don't know what's happened. Please fill us in. Well, like, we talked the day after that, and he was, like, he mentioned a couple of things that I was just, like, no. I was, like, no, no, no. I'm okay with not knowing. And then we talked ever since that, and then we went on the date. Oh. It was really cute. He picked me up from the train station near the drive-in. We went and got some snacks. He, like, oh. told me he'd, like, s- tried to, like, set up the back of the car multiple ways to watch the movie. And, like, he was, it was like he was trying really hard to make it really Aww. nice. Uh, yeah. Which was really cute. We went to the drive-in. It was Monsters, Inc. It was actually a really good movie choice because I kind of forgot lots of parts of Monsters, Inc. Because I haven't oh. seen it in ages. Do you recommend? Um, Does it hold up? Yes, it's such a good movie. Ed- ed- animation's really good. But besides the point, the little <laughs> diner that we went in, the diner that we went in, it was uh, like all like the du- 50s. Well, like the drive-in had a diner that was like 50s era. And it was so cute. It was like basically fulfilling all of my like date fantasy. Yeah. Like, yes. Like the fifties diner, the drive-in cinema. Like it was really cute. We so we had snacks and we had like it was just yeah a vibe. Okay. And then we watched the movie, and throughout the movie, I realized oh. that no, he's interested in me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he uh, likes me. Okay. Um, so how did you come to that conclusion? A little arm around the shoulder, oh. a little kiss. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was okay. going to say. And then afterwards, oh. it was like early 7 p.m. when the movie finished. So we were like, We got the whole night ahead of us. Yeah. And then we couldn't, me being indecisive, I was like, I don't know. And he was driving. So he was like, I don't know. And then we were trying <laughs> to figure out what we wanted to do. And then he was like, oh, you can come back to mine. And I was like, no, because then his was like 30 minutes away from the movie. And then mine is like, in the other direction, another, like, 40 minutes. Right. So I was like, no, that will make me feel a bit like an inconvenience for you. Uh, so we just drove around, and then I realized he was, like, taking us to his place, which was, oh. like, fine. Um, it, He basically did it because, like, he didn't want me to, like, feel like an inconvenience, which, like, was good, but I was also wanting to do that. So, like, I was putting myself in the position where, like, I didn't want to be at his house. Right. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Just in, like... In regards to that, not that he tried anything like that. Like all we did was like uh, watch okay. movies, and uh, not watch movies. We watched some, like videos and we talked, and then we made some like music and stuff. But it was just like you never know what you're going into. No, so I for like sure. didn't want to go into that, so I was like trying to kind of avoid that. Actually, on the drive to his house, oh my god, on the drive to oh, his no. house, it was brought up that he was like. I forgot how it came up, but it was like, were you expecting like the kiss or something? And I was like, oh no, I wasn't like. I wasn't expecting it in that moment, but I, like, knew it was coming. Right. And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, I just didn't know because, like, of what you said, like, on the first, <gasps> the first before, <laughs> before we met. And he's like, you, yeah, like, and I was like, oh, my what? God, yes, I've been thinking about that forever. Oh, what I said to him what was, did, like, yeah. I didn't know if our, the times we would see each other, if they're, they, I was like, I didn't know if this was going to be a date. And I was like, but then everybody was like, it's obviously a date. He's like, yeah, I wouldn't take friends to the drive-in. And he's like, yeah, well, I didn't know if you wanted to be friends because before, like, we started, before we even met up, you were like, you kind of friend-zoned me. And I was like, I didn't mean to friend-zone you. And it was that whole thing. I don't know if anybody remembers when I first mentioned him. Oh, my gosh. But when I was like, oh, like, if this doesn't work out, like, I'd still like to be friends. And we talked about that. Like we literally put him said. in the position where he thought we like I wanted to be friends, so he wasn't making any moves, and then I was sitting there being like, "Oh my god, I don't know if these are dates or if these are just us hanging out." So there we go, guys. That is a takeaway lesson. Bad line confirmed. If you are not looking to be friends, <laughs> do not try and confuse the situation when neither of you know <laughs> by saying, it. "Just if this doesn't work out, I'm like happy to be friends." No, don't no go it. lied. Don't do it. Um, but anybody could have told you that. Like, let's be honest. What do you mean? Um, but yeah. Oh, okay. I think, like, anybody could have told you it was a bad line. <laughs> Everyone's just mean, like, we would never plan We were never going to use like, that. Like, just, just tell you. <laughs> no, but it was really it was really nice. And then he took me home. But on the way home, oh. somehow it came up. The live came up. 
and oh. I was and I mentioned I was like, oh yeah, he's like, oh guy, I'm guy number four, and I was like, yeah, on the podcast, like we're talking about you, and I didn't know that he didn't know that he was actually mentioned on the podcast, so he actually had no idea that he was a story on the podcast, and like I talked about him, so he was shocked. Oh, so then, okay. oh no, he, so then he was like, we got to listen. He's like, can we listen to it? And I was like, no. Eh. Like, this is when you say no. Yeah, well, I should have. But then he was like, well, you listen to my music. And, like, I'm really, like, he, like, tells everything there. I was like, this is a little different. Anyway, oh, no. we listened to it. And, like, it was the first oh, episode we mentioned to him. So we went through all four of the boys. You listened to all <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> I can't even, like, I don't even so like someone, like, awkward. listening to the podcast around me or, like, watching a YouTube video around me, let alone when I'm, t- if I was talking about them in it. That's horrible. So, good. Um, so what is the vibe? You're just sitting there going, yeah, this we is good. We were in the car. Yeah. And I'm like, it's like playing and I'm like this, but he's holding my hand oh. to like give me reassurance. Oh. Because we like, we've been holding it's hands a in the car driver. the whole time. Oh. Um, and, but he's holding my hand for like reassurance and he's like laughing and like liking it, but I'm like dying inside. Anyway, it was really awkward uh, for me, not for him. I think he... Like it was kind of like a ego booster because <laughs> I'm basically just talking about how nice he was, <laughs> um, and like how like yeah I liked him. So I mean, it seems like a positive thing that you know where he stands now. He knows yes. where you stand, uh, but the whole the whole podcast thing does add an interesting dynamic where it's uh-huh. like he's learning stuff that you feel based on a podcast where you're telling the truth, but you also have to like. Yeah, say stuff in a particular way or you don't yeah. you hold stuff back so it's not like a natural like progression of a relationship because yeah. he's learning stuff and then it's like but he, I don't like, know it's weird. he's learning stuff but he might not have the full story not to say that I don't say the full story on here but like obviously I'm not gonna just say every little thought that comes into my head you know like obviously I hold back a little no I don't like I don't hold back but I do hold oh see now I feel like I'm well, saying no, that it's I, just, like, I don't know it's hard to explain but like obviously something you're going to talk about to an audience is still going to be different to how you talk about it to that person specifically exactly so exactly do you feel better now that you know how he feels um yeah yeah I think so like like I think eternally I knew the whole time subconsciously I knew the whole time um, but like it was just like my self doubt like getting in the way. But it's like a bit weird to be honest to to know that somebody likes you. <laughs> 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 um, that's all I'm gonna go into that. because uh, like as I said, like I just think that I think I wanna leave things a little bit private. Oh. Like as of course I'm oh. gonna give updates. No, I'm gonna give updates right. like well, at the update of this is, like, I know he likes me. The date went well. But, like, I'm going to give, give updates if they happen. But, like, obviously, I, I, I don't want to, like, bear my soul on here, especially now that he knows about the podcast. And, like, She's, yeah. It would be weird for, uh, for him to know an audience knows stuff that he technically doesn't know. Exactly. Like, and it's about, like, our relationship, like, our relationship between each other. When Yeah. yeah usually when you're just getting to know someone in that way, like, it's perfectly normal and you do hold stuff back because yeah. you don't need to have it figured out the whole way. So then if you got on and were like, this is how I don't I'm know. feeling, this is it is. Either way, it's kind of weird. Yeah. So what I'm just going to like hold back a little bit. She's sorry, a tease. Guys. She takes us on this oh, ride, invests us um, in the story and then says, sorry, no more. It's no, gone. I'm not saying sorry, no more. I'm just saying like, I'll keep you guys updated, but like there's, I'm not going to like give you a microscope into microscope into my mind at the moment that's all i'm gonna say like okay. i'm not gonna no, i'm not that, gonna I mean, that dissect sense, yes. my mind and like have it as like a therapy session about this because like i don't want to well, can um, you sort this out um asap because i either want you to be happy and in a relationship or for us to be able to do ali bachelorette so either way <laughs> get it priorities here. here priorities no you take your um, time thank you thank you so kind of you to allow me <laughs> to have that <laughs> No, but I think we should go to the interview. (laughs) Talking about love. (laughs) Are you ready? Are you ready? What is okay? We're about to speak to Mr. Feet. Are your feet ready? Uh, Do I show like? Do I show my feet? Do I bring them out? No, no. No? I will. Will that just? 
<laughs> Should we get him to like a live reaction? No. I can't. What's the game plan here? Are we... What do you mean, what's the game plan? I don't know. I'm the, just... yeah, he's your man. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, wait, before we get in, what we know about him, right? Just like in case you're not yeah. upset, is I think he is... So I found out that... Because one time when he like transferred me via PayPal, I saw his name so I was able to like stalk him. And I found a person who I think might be him. The person I found is young and potentially not that much older than us which is a is l- would be shocking to a lot of people is he going to have his camera on oh is he which is he? do we is I it scary if he does or if he doesn't oh <laughs> I don't know both are bad both are I, bad I don't like them he, he also when he when we added me on snapchat once so I could send him a picture of my feet and I would put two and two together and discover that that snapchat username was the same as a twitter username who back in my youtube twitter days had been like an active follower like tw- since 2015, so th- this he's been around for a long time. Fortunately, it's n- it wasn't. A, it, if he is a young person, it was never in like a. Let's just let's just talk to him. I can't. Let's talk I don't to want Mr. to. Fevich. I refuse. Maybe I'll just like <laughs> cut out of the call and like leave you guys. <laughs> but like <sighs> every time people when I show people like my conversations, like why do you still speak to him? Because like we do have had a bit of banter since like just because it's so bizarre bizarre berserk that i do like banter back and forth with them just like for the fun of it like just because it's funny but i have I just wanna, been so I just curious to disappear right now to i don't want to do it i don't want to do it i just have so many questions i'm so curious okay i'll see you on the other side i guess do we right. like come up with code words to communicate throughout yeah like we'll do it i'll pull on my ear if we should go if we should end early I'll pull just like hang up today. say nothing and hang up yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like rub my nose if um yeah. rub my nose means pull out your feet. And we both just like pull out our feet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, we're beating around the bush. He's like, let's bring him on. So um, uh <laughs> So uh Mr. Feet Pig <laughs> Yeah, um he didn't show up. It was a big Fat waste of time. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, guys, Mr. Feepix has decided he does not want to do the interview. Uh, he doesn't want to expose himself. He really did it last second, too. Like, yes. He really... Like, I was just waiting around, I know, and, ready yeah, for the I was, interview. I guys, got I've it been, all ready. <laughs> I'm messaging him all morning trying to make this happen, but, I mean, if he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to. But... It's just he, rude, though. He said he was going to do it. Like, we made time yeah, now, for it. Now, I will say that I did kind of have a bit of reflecting in the last couple of days, and I was like, let's me think about, like, this whole situation, because everyone that listens to me talk about this feed picks, people are like, whoa, like, as if you do that. I'm, I'm always thinking, like, what is it? Like, just thinking logically about it. And so I was like, maybe I should actually think about this properly. And I did kind of come to the conclusion that perhaps I do have or do want to have, like, <laughs> values and beliefs that go beyond just, like, are you only content. saying that now, though, because we didn't get the content? <laughs> no. What I'm saying is, so I told him, because last t- week we talked about this deal that I was going to send him, like, some shirtless photos, whatever, and I told him that I didn't want to do that anymore. And um, so, I mean, I, it, it is partly my fault, but I did talk to him, and he was still keen up until this mm. morning. But, yes. It's all right. It's okay. Things happen. Um, this is not meant to be. It's just not meant to be, guys. Just in your imagination, think about what he would have said. Think about what he would have been like. I'm a little bit glad. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm a little bit glad we didn't talk to him because I felt like it would have been a little uncomfortable. When you messaged me this um, morning like, so are we still on for the interview? I was like, she's probably think, like desperately hoping I say, no, we don't have to do it. I was like, yeah, yeah, we're all good. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's vibes. It's all vibes. But yes, I think for now, at least, well, not for now, the feet pick saga is over. Any kind of pick Closing saga is book. over. I'm taking a step back, reevaluating my decisions. No yeah. more. No more. <laughs> um, talking about closing a book, this is really random, but it just came yeah. to my head. This morning I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw like a past person that I was talking to. I think they've gotten into a relationship. And oh my God, 
it made me feel so some type of way. Like, not that I want to be with them or anything, but I was kind of like, oh. <laughs> and I don't know if that's jealousy, but you know when you like close a book on somebody and then you see that, like, or even a friend or something, and you see that they're doing well or they've got a new friend or whatever, <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> you're like, that's just a little bit rude. Just a little bit rude. Uh, um, yeah. But like, you don't want to be with them or anything, but it's kind of like, but I still want yeah, you to be with me. I don't know what the me. right emotion is because it's not even like necessarily like blatant mm. jealousy or like, you're like, oh, no. as if they're happy. But it's just like kind of the fact that you know that would have been you at some point. Yeah, and exactly. Even if you don't really like feel some way about them now, you did have that thing at some point and you did feel a way about them at some point. So yeah. It's always and like really even weird. as friends, like when I see friends yeah. who I chose to cut off or like I chose yeah. to do this, having like fun or like having a new friend, I'm like, excuse me. I'm kind of like, you should still be like wanting uh- <laughs> to like still be like having a hole in your heart for the loss of me. Um, yeah, no, that's like I don't know if that makes toxic- me a yeah, narcissistic no. <laughs> or toxic. <laughs> well, no, it's more toxic when like there's someone that might have been interested in you at some point and you never had any kind of interest back, but just the fact mm. that they were there interested no, was enough. No, 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 no. See, then it wasn't you, like, that. It was- I know, but I'm saying this is like a different thing, which is actually toxic. Yeah, <laughs> and then you see toxic. them like with someone else, they've moved on. You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then some people like go back and like will actually like, try and insert themselves back in when they see somebody like who was interested in them but no that's not what i'm no, talking about, that, I'm talking about that is like, when it gets very um, much so yeah i just had that like we- little weird feeling when i saw this guy like not like in a bad way just like uh oh what could have been mm. which is super interesting like a whole like another concept to like kind of delve into one time but like just weird how I don't know. It's hard to like uh, understand because it's like what is what is that whole feeling emotion mm, like feeling. The psychology thing? But yeah, it's just like it's even just like the power of relationships. Any kind of strong relationship, although I guess like this is just someone you were talking to for a bit. <laughs> but even any <laughs> any kind of relationship <laughs> with someone is just because you say like now I'm not interested. Wait, wait like ending this, it doesn't immediately like destroy everything that had been built. Like that history yeah. is there. And we'll be there forever. And it's like, even when I went down to Melbourne, I kind of saw... No, I did. I saw a friend who I haven't seen in a long time, like, caught up. It was her birthday. And I was just, like, hearing things. And, like, obviously she's been living her life and has a whole, like, new... She was my housemate. So she has, like... We used to live together and we had, like, an expect... Like, we were really close friends. And, like, I knew her and, like, her routine and, like, what she was doing. And then going back down there and, like, kind of hearing about all the new stuff she's been up to and these new people (laughs) in her life. And of course she has this new life because I have this new life. But hearing about all these new people and that she was like watching Harry Potter with this her new housemate, this guy. And I was kind of like, I was like, that's our thing. And But it's so weird because it's like, of course people are going to live their lives and like the world doesn't revolve around you. But it's just weird to step back and be like, what is this feeling? Like, I'm not jealous, but it's like we had something. (laughs) <laughs> See, even with like, yeah. we no, it would be it strange because it's like yeah, especially with someone like a housemate, you're so ingrained in each other's lives, and now it's suddenly like, wow, everything mm. you're speaking about, I'm so like, it's weird to be so detached Distant when from. a mm. short amount of time ago, any of this stuff would have been so, mean, so, meant so much to me, and like I would have been so a part yeah. of it. Anyway, yeah. So okay. we have a number of people picks to get to today. Yes. We're going like kind of the pop culture route. That's what the people were telling us yeah. this week. They want and some pop culture. They want celebrity tea. Like Not what? that we know much, but we- <laughs> we're just going to put our two cents in where we know. Yeah, so we had some pretty hot topics come through all unanimously from the people picks. They obviously want to be shouted out. <laughs> <laughs> so our first people pick comes from Charlie's Customs AU. And oh. she or he or they, I'm just going to say they. It's oh. just so much easier. Oh. They say... Billie Eilish. Okay. So I actually woke up this morning and like did a like, I didn't even mean to, but I was like swiping through Instagram and like this whole, I'm like following this account called like Exposing Celeb and this whole like, <laughs> flip, <laughs> this whole thing Healthy. was about Billie Eilish and oh, oh my God, she, she's going down the drain at the moment. Really? I don't, like, yeah. People are starting to like, her songs aren't going high uh, at the moment because people are like canceling her. Oh. Because of all these things. Have you been up to date with it? So, 
So originally when I saw this people pick, I was just thinking about her music because I know she had dropped a song and someone was like, I heard, I saw a lot of stuff on like Twitter about people saying her music is like, she's just doing the same thing. It's getting boring. And I was like, finally, because oh. personally, I've pretty much always found it rather boring. But I also think Ooh. it's it can, be, it can be good music, but also just sl- somewhat boring. Anyway. See, I've always liked her. I've liked her music. Her voice is like phenomenal and her live was really great. Um, but continue, sorry. And there's no denying that she's very talented and mm. everything like that and unique. But the like the song Lost Cause, did you hear it? It's like a latest no. single. And no. It's just, I, wait, is that the one where she has the music video? Yeah, and the music video yeah. is very hype and she's just kind of... But in saying that, the whole thing about music it does is... Kinda, it does kind of sound a bit the same. No, it's not like she's creating thing, anything new or like going out of her box, which is like... I feel like that's when, like, artists deserve the hype, which I know is really hard, but when they can, like, be themselves but, like, generate something new, that's really great. But that's not yeah. what the tea is. That's no, not exactly. The tea. And that's the thing. I'm the like, tea- it's... Yeah, go on. Do you want to tell you... The- oh, no. No, no. All, all I'd seen is apparently she'd, she'd said an Asian slur. Oh, okay. And that's Sorry, the max there's I saw. so much tea. <laughs> Fill so in. the tea is, I'm just going to break it down really quickly. Okay, tea okay. is, she put out that song. Then the music video, it was very kind of like sexual with oh. all these girls. So like everybody was like, it's very like queer baiting because oh. like she's not. She's not obviously queer, but it's like got all these girls and then people like speculating, is she like bisexual or something like that? But no, yeah. like she wasn't. And then she never made a statement about that, but then she made an Instagram post and like the caption was, I like girls. And so everybody was like, this is queer baiting. Like, okay, she's why not does, actually, she's just like hyper Why that just seems weird to me because like if nobody knows her sexuality and she mm. wants to make this song, just say she is like pants or she is queer or whatever. And she's making this song with the video expressing how she feels. Why? And everyone jumping down the neck saying it's queer baiting. How well, do, I and no like, one knows how she actually is. And then is she required to come out and be like, confirm? Guys, I am. I'm lesbian. not sure. But I think she's, if anything, she would be bi. I'm pretty sure. Because like she dates. Which, that's the next controversial thing. But on the topic of that. So she did all that, but the whole reason was it was just really sexualizing like women on women, like lesbian. Yeah. I don't know the quite word for it, which has like already been so overly sexualized, which is really wrong. Like the lesbian, like lesbian, like f- it's fetish- not a culture, fetish- but it's fetishization. so, yeah. yeah, it's so fetishized. And um, so I think that was the main issue that like she just, she, she didn't confirm, but it was still like she was sexualizing women and like sexualizing in that way. Which was problematic. But then the second thing is, after that, she just came out, like, photos came out and that she's dating this 30-year-old guy who was fatphobic, racist, homophobic, oh. and all this stuff, like, in, like, not that long ago, posting all this stuff on Facebook and stuff. She didn't address that and, like, everybody was like, well, she's dating this person who was obviously, like, all of these things. Who like, is it? Is makes, he, is he like a famous person things. or is he random? Wait, I don't really know what he's... I've never heard of him. I can't, I can't lie. I've literally never heard of him. But he's like 30 years old and what? she's like younger than us. Like that's a, a bit yes, odd. Yes, I think she's um, not 20, 19. Yeah, I think she's 20 uh, if I'm right. Oh, his name's Matthew. I don't really Perry. know who he is. Also, before this, there was this video that came out when she was on live and she was using like AAVE which we've mm. talked about before and like using a black scent and everything like that. So like not her usual voice. And then her brother's on the live and her brother's like, turn off the live. Like, why are you talking like that? Like, obviously like being like, you don't talk like that usually like, yeah, turn off the live. Like we need to talk like this isn't okay. And um, so that came up like a bit before the whole like girls thing. And then afterwards, after that, <laughs> after that, now everything's coming out that like there's these videos of her like doing mocking and action uh an Asian accent and all of this other controversial stuff. She liked a um she liked a fan's Instagram post saying Ooh, it was saying this fandom is so embarrassing sometimes. Like why would you go in someone's comments and say something you literally don't even know is true and something you're literally made up. Sometimes you're all so dumb. Some of you just need to learn how to mind your business. And she liked that. Um, talking about her fans. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, so, yeah. It's, yeah, okay. I, it's it's interesting, though, not to say that any of the stuff isn't, like, cancel-worthy and definitely the kind of the the cultural stuff is the type of thing which should 
pause. Then after all of this is blown up, like a couple days, like now, the guy, the guy she's dating has come out with like an apology being like, I'm so sorry, I take full ownership for like what I've said. Like, and he's like retracting everything. So yeah, anyway, continue. Right. But she hasn't made any statements or said anything. Yeah. It's just interesting showing the patterns of cancel cancellation mm. and how it works in that, You can kind of see this happens all the time with like something like she releases this music where people like finally a chance to like drag her down for something. The fact that she dropped this song, she's like starting to flop. And then Mm. out of nowhere, all this stuff which would have existed for ages is like people pulling out to try and do it. And you wonder like most of it is wouldn't Mm. doesn't seem like it's necessarily going to be from the people that are offended or anything. It's just like this cancel bubble that are like, this is our yeah. opportunity to drag down Billy because something's come up. So let's no, find well, out. I I kind of disagree because like I remember at the start when that song came up, song came out in the music video, everybody loved it, and then like a couple of people were making comments, and then suddenly it was like, whoa, okay, maybe this isn't right. And then as you said, everything's been brought up because she's done like one thing wrong. But then she added to the fuel with the fire dating. Well, she didn't yeah, add to it, just, but by choosing to date like- this guy. When it, when it gets to the point of she likes this comment, like Billy is being tagged in a million things. She's scrolling through liking stuff. Mm, also, I the comment I read that. It was also, like, the comment see, is like somewhat funny. It wasn't a and, comment. It was a, it was a post. It was a whole Instagram photo post. But I mean, like, even her liking that is not... Like it was like this. By itself, her liking that post is... Yeah. Oh, okay. It's literally just a text. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a huge deal. But it's the fact that then it's like, oh, this is another... This is something else we can pull into this. Um, yeah. And maybe she didn't do a full screening of someone she's seeing, like, old Facebook statuses. Yeah, well, Who like, you, and you don't, don't usually do that. But, like, I also think that, like, I don't know. There's, like, I think it's, she's acting a little bit problematic, but I don't think she should yeah. be cancelled. I think, like, she's still young. Like, obviously, she needs to take ownership. Like, I think she should make, come out and say something, like, about the video because it is very, like, fetishizing, like, lesbian couples or, like, women who are bisexual and stuff like that. But what if she, if um, she unless, is unless she a part is, of it? Is she just being yeah, forced to like put a label? What happens to like community. no need for labels? Yeah, but then it's like, well, that's true. Then, then then say that. But like her just coming out with a music video like that she's probably knows is going to be like, is going to be taken that way. Like you can't yeah. just expect, like when, you're, when you've got that big of a platform, you can't expect to put something out like that and then be like, but I'm not going to tell, like, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, I always find it weird when people that are on that level can, like, get away with... Not get away with, but always, like, consistently can fall into, like, doing weirdly problematic stuff. It's like, there's that many people working on, like, your stuff and no one is mm. detecting that, especially right now, you're not going to get, like, destroyed for that. I always find it weird. Anyway, but yes, I'm not trying to defend exactly. any action, just kind of commenting on cancel culture. And cancel culture doesn't fucking work. As f- per usual, I just saw recently, David Dobrik's now posting again on Tuesdays. Like, wasn't he cancelled? Didn't we cancel him <laughs> for all this shit he did? <laughs> like, there was a whole thing. Legit. He's got all these positions. <laughs> and then now he's just sub- suddenly back and people are like, yay, he's posting again. I'm like, guys. Speaking of David Dobrik, this next one, which comes in from Emily underscore Campbell one said, frenemies, the Trisha and Ethan <laughs> break up. <laughs> I've got, to, I've got to say, this This is a sad one for me. I, like, finally actually got into them and was, like, watching them pretty regularly. And I don't really listen... Sorry, guys. I don't really listen to podcasts that often or watch YouTube videos or anything like that. So it was a big deal for me. They were entertaining. I know. <sighs> I don't, it's- like, know the ins and outs. I only know little things about it. But sad. Sad face. It's, it is sad. And this for me is not like, because I, I loved Frenemies and I loved that Trisha, I've always loved her that she, like, it was just kind of wholesome the fact that her family's connected and she, like, had this mm. person which was supporting her properly. And it was just mm. like, end up being good vibes. But yeah, it's sad and it's just like not fun drama for me at all. Like, mm. it's not like fun, juicy drama because it's so, like, I haven't been watching, she's posted like a million videos, there's been a whole stack <laughs> of stuff. I haven't kept up with it just because of the fact that it is kind of like, I don't know if disturbing is the right word, but because mm. it's so mentally illness Yeah, like it's not, yeah. it's not just about like, oh my God, the drama. It's actually like, oh, it's her mental health and like- And there are so like, many and, deep and, issues that, I don't know, yeah. it just makes me more uncomfortable than anything. Yeah. It's also like, I just wish they could handle this like off the internet. Legit. And like, I just, like, it's one of those things that like, of course I love tea. I love drama. 
love it. Yeah. But it's like I don't like I feel like this is private and I, although they share like a lot of their life on the internet, I'm like guys like please like I'd rather like not that I don't want to know about it, but like as soon as you get it all situated and like it comes like you know settles, then come out with a statement and be like guys. But one hundred percent. Someone made a good point though that like this is what Trisha is. This is her whole internet character. Mm. This is why she's been so successful for 15 years but only now it's because we like have seen her in this relationship which people like so we're like no trisha we want you like fit into the normal box Mm. which is not actually your character which is what why you're so popular and controversial and famous because you are just like unpredictable and can't uh, don't interact the same way so i just think she needs to go back to not trying to have long-term proper relationships and live in her own but world. That's so sad, isn't it, though? <laughs> like, no, but, but she like, says she likes that. She says she doesn't even like having friends. Like, but, but, like, that, like, like, if you think about it, like, as people, we're, like, meant to have people around us. We're meant to have connections. We're meant, like, we, that's what we strive for. Like, even, like, introverts, like, you still, like, want one person or, like, something like that. I know. Like, that makes me sad. I'm so um, sad. It was my favourite, like, entertainment out there Mm. but and like just like the how they were kind of a a little bit like okay not as extreme we're not as extreme but like i don't know we've got like polar kind of lives and polar like opposites they were like that i don't know Mm. i kind of saw not yeah no or anything but like yeah yeah so i would like to see i'm like at this point we don't need frenemies back i would like to see them just like be civil and happy be able to interact positively again because it's such a shame on to our next people pick from Brock oh. Valencini. Oh. Oh. Val- Valisine. Uh. Is oh. I'm oh. so sorry for butchering <laughs> your name. I'm so sorry. But the people pick from Brock is TikTok versus YouTuber fight. Oh. Now, this is a yeah. big thing at the moment. Like, oh, I nice. haven't been keeping up. I don't watch it. I don't really know. All I saw was that, like, the guy, I forgot which guy, but he got beat by like Austin <laughs> Bryce Hall. Powers. Austin Rick Broom. Oh, Austin Powers. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> but like, yeah, Bryce, that guy. Is yeah. he was he dating Addison Ray or something? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in that I'm not in that TikTok world. <laughs> don't talk to him about that. Um <laughs> So Bryce got, was like, beaten by Austin smashed. Powers. Yeah. And then there were like there's a lot of like other YouTubers doing this whole thing. It's very odd to me. I'm kind of like, why are people paying for this? Why is it a thing? Why did? What does anybody want this? I don't get it. Yes. It's so interesting because it takes like the drama and beef to like, well, let's go back to old fashioned ways and actually just resolve it like by fighting. Because <laughs> I think like, I don't, I think they, most of the beef in this is just so hyped for the sake of the hype because it's like pay per view. So obviously the more people that watch, the more money I think it's just fake. Get. It's yeah, so exactly. Fake. It's all about the money. They're like talking so much smack to each other, and then straight after, like, "Oh, congrats, you did so well." Uh, Look, but they get like millions. I think Bryce Hall got like five million dollars from the fight. Uh, so it's pretty hectic. Like they get paid bulk. Oh my god! What do you god. think about f- f- good old fashioned fighting to settle a? Well, tiff? I don't even get like actual fighting. Like, didn't before this, like Logan and Jake were like versing people, and like they actually like fought. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, legit. Mayweather. Didn't like Floyd Mayweather. Floyd. See, I don't even know boxing, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Didn't he like lose to Logan or something? Or I just saw these memes where like Logan was like just hugging Floyd while like Floyd was just like punching him. I don't know. Yeah. It all just seems a bit odd to me. Like YouTubers and like even like yeah Logan and Jake and that coming into like the boxing scene. I'm just like, can you just leave it to the professionals? But I guess it's kind of the thing where. If it's like money based on watches and the whole thing with social media is watches, like it's a crossover mm. that makes sense because Floyd mm. is probably going to draw in all obviously the proper boxing supporters, but Logan's going to draw in all those the people other, that watch yeah. him. So they but both who's just walk around. Jake and oh, I know, Jake but a lot of people. What's his name? Floyd I forgot his name. Floyd Mayweather. That's Logan. See, oh, Logan. No, Logan. <laughs> They're so forgettable in my mind. I am sorry. Like, I don't even not keep up with them. No, but what I want to see is, and what I was like, saw like one TikTok about it. Can, if we're going to have men YouTubers versus men TikTokers, can we have female ones? Oh. Like, can we have a female fight? Oh. Like, let's make it happen. Yes. Um, yes. Let's get Trisha in the ring. Like, honestly, though, like, I don't know. Like, if males are going to make money off it, no, why not bring in the females? It's true. And it would be it would be interesting to see 
to see that. I just wonder if like the girls would want to. I saw That's my thing. Oh, well, I've been seeing so many of the girl TikTokers be like, I'm ready. Um, yeah. You probably miss the drama, no, but no like, idea who they are. Though. Mads and Nessa <laughs> like want to fight. Like Tana Mojo wants to fight Bella Thorne, and she's like, "We'll get ten mil," but Bella Thorne's like, "No, nah, I'm not into it." People want Trisha oh. and Gabby Hanna to fight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. it's just a world. Like I don't keep up with it all as much as I should. Like some of these people like, yes, I'm ready. And everybody's like, yes. I'm like, I have no idea who you are. I have no <laughs> idea what TikToker you are. I haven't like, I couldn't tell you. Um, So really interesting. Would you find someone? Well, actually I saw a TikTok of this girl, which I thought was interesting. And she was like, yes, you get five mil, but like how much is your integrity, your dignity worth? Like yeah. she was and talking about how Bryce be- went in there and just got like plummeted, destroyed and walked out with like, like he talks so much game and walks out with a br- bloody and brutal face, but I don't. But he's getting five mil. Exactly, I'm like five <laughs> mil. Do what you like. like. Look, but then yeah, and then you're always, but then you're gonna like be associated with like those people. I don't know if I'd want to do that. But then I don't know. I think I would do it. Like if somebody was like Ali, we're gonna do like podcasters versus like TikTokers uh- or something <laughs> like that. I'd be like, okay, throw me in, throw <laughs> me in the ring. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not sure. I or. Also, don't like pain. <laughs> so, not that anybody likes pain, but like I will mm. avidly go out of my way to avoid it, except if it's beauty related. I'll do anything in the name of beauty. <laughs> but when it comes what to like, what about in the name of pain, money? I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see if I'm ever offered. What about um, Ali versus Theo? Would you do it in the ring? <laughs> yeah, because I know I'd win. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah but no it seems just like a bit stupid to me overall you guys are a joke yeah, i mean like, this is a joke kind of but if they're in the social media world this is like what they're trying to do mm, this is i just don't know but like usually like i feel like social media people are trying their way to get higher up you know what i mean because yeah. i feel like in like famous world famous world there's like social media and then there's like celebrities celebrities yeah. right like they they're in the movies i feel like social media people are like climbing their way up to get to the like celebrity celebrity p- top tier and i just feel like if you're doing this type of shit you're never gonna get there because like that's just embarrassing like you will never catch chris hemsworth or like all these like famous but people does it yeah, no, you're right. But is it, okay, two points. So one, is it just kind of showing that, um, well, is it just showing that if they can make like this much money and have this much attention around like a social media boxing game, like does it give more credit to social media? And two, does no. it just kind of, you know, we say like, oh, the social media always trying to build up to get to that next, like the proper level of fame and celebrity. But maybe is it just showing that social media is that? Is the next no. like, like you even traditional see it. Like, celebrity it's so em- potentially getting outdated? Maybe, but it's so embarrassing. Like even seeing like Addison Rae like hanging out with the Kardashians and then why doing is that, like, that embarrassing? I just don't know because she's just it's just weird. Like her like now starring in a movie or something. I'm like no. I'm like no. And then also her. Oh my god. Her. I don't know. You probably wouldn't have seen it, but she did this like Vogue like outfits I wear and with Vogue with Vogue and it was the most embarrassing outfits and like I'm not like a fashion icon or anything but if I was going on Vogue like in a Vogue video it was like bike shorts (laughs) like it was just embarrassing stuff that I'm like nobody's gonna take you seriously and nobody was taking her seriously but I think is people just gonna like if that's some other person doing it with the same outfits are they gonna get more attention like I don't understand that whole like it's embarrassing like she's she's taking opportunities she is a young person like doing what she can do and like succeeding why is that it's great it's great that she's getting the opportunities but it's she's still not doing it with like I don't know how to explain it not it's not class but it's like she's not doing it it's like she's still stuck in the like social media kind of TikTok mindset, which like that's obviously where she comes from. But like it's like she's doing all these like higher, higher up things that like celebrities do. But she's like still I don't know how to. But like it. I'm just thinking like how does she win here? How does she win you over in this situation? Because what is personally for me? Yeah, like, do it. Just do it better. But exactly, like everyone is just. What is her? How? How does she come out of this winning without it, the whole world roasting her? Well, like, like she's I have thrown to into say this that, like, after she's, a year, she's had hanging a out with the Kardashians, like doing outfits. the Vogue. What do you like? Just don't be as like 
cringy. I exactly, don't know. but it's does like, that just mean that it's, it's just us putting that on her? To be like, no, don't be cringy. It's like no. It's like she's literally taking the cringe from like TikTok and this like white girl cringe oh. from TikTok and just taking it further into like the celebrity world, which like we're already trying to get rid of all like these bad like weird white girls, and she's just adding to like the cringe in this whole environment. I don't know. I don't know. That's just my two cents. <laughs> I, I, no, I very like, much disagree because like she is the one that made it of like a normal social media but she shouldn't have that's my but thing. why She's not this is like because this, she like has the tall no poppy talent. syndrome is ju- is jumping no out talent. why no, can she so not act ma- in a no, movie stop, as in any stop, other person stop stop okay. stop there's so many other tiktokers and other creative people on social media doing things tenfold so much better than her like acting wise there's people who literally come up with so many creative tiktoks that are literally acting that are phenomenal in like 30 seconds or 60 seconds then there's but none of us have even seen her in the movie like we haven't seen her in the movie so why tear down her acting before she's even acted stop can you just let me know that was just one thing then two it's like she, her fashion, her fashion sucks. It's like there's people on TikTok who have, who are so creative with their fashion, who like, even if I don't personally like what they're wearing, they've, I can see that they're adding all these things together and they have heaps of followers and stuff like that and they should deserve more of a platform for Vogue and all these type of stuff than she does. Second. But okay, on that one, like just she, to address so that one, is it, if brands, she is saying like, just on that one, if they if Vogue is doing a segment where like we're just showing your favorite like creators what their outfits are, no, like, but I that's don't think the they're segment. saying we're getting fashion icon Addison Rae to show her top like style t- styling. Things. Well, it is the the, the whole thing was kind of like that. The people that were shown are like models and like are known for their fashion and are known for their like street fashion and their daily wear. And she's just been added to that category, and it's kind of like is is the issue. Should the anger be directed more than at the industry that's rewarding her rather than her? Is she supposed to say well, no to that no. Vogue shoot? Well, she's there's, like- more, there's more that I have to touch on with her that okay. I haven't got on. Also, she like went on Jimmy Fallon, did all these dances that black, black creators and other creators actually made and all this type of stuff. She gives no recognition to like other people or other content creators that she's taken these ideas from. Like I'm not saying she's an awful person because a lot of people do this, but like... I think it's a mixture, as what you just said. It's a mixture of, like, well, with her position and, like, what she should, the reach she has, she should be giving more credit and, like, uplifting other creatives who actually are doing it better than her. No offence. And, like, but then my own goes also at, like, social media, but it's also at the industry or whatever because it's, like, you need to find, stop giving this attention to this person when they're not really doing anything compared to other people. And that's not to say she hasn't like obviously built up her platform, but it literally, she has a platform because she is a pretty white girl. That's like why she has her platform. And has probably and done, that, there's a million pretty white girls that are not on the same level as Addison Yeah, Ray, but that's but, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. She just got picked out. That's what happens though. Like she just got picked out of the bunch and then people rolled with it. Like, that's what they rolled with. Yeah, like, I would say... Go- and, like, obviously her personality, like, comes into it with a bit. Like, I don't really know her personality. But, like, it's just that, like, she's... That's what they do. People on social media, they pick one person or they pick a couple people that they like just out of a handful. And, like, then suddenly it's a trend or people hop on the train to, like, you know, mm. that's how people... Yes, I mean, I would say people. you can discount, discount the fact that there would be a lot more work required from her than we would most no, people would see and assume I'm not saying from her that, perspective like, she doesn't do work like i'm saying like obviously she had to build a platform from somewhere but i'm saying the reason she has such a big platform is because she's just a white pretty girl she's just a white pretty girl who had to stand in front of a camera and obviously from like she's had to like obviously keep you know not social climbing, but she's had to keep pushing through and doing different things so she had more opportunities but i'm saying the reason at the very base of it, why she got her first 100K or her first whatever. Yes, that got she her definitely to this has point an edge and privilege because of that. Yes. Yeah. yeah my, no, my thing is more the fact that you're like putting the other celebrities it. on such a pedestal when there's a million factors well, into them. Like there's all the, neo, how do you say that word? Neopotism. 
near you know the fact that like most yeah, oh, yeah. most like the hot like actors and everything have coming from no hugely people. successful yeah. and rich families no and i'm not saying that but i'm saying usually like i don't know i just like think that like there's so many other people that could be doing s- showing off their talents or like having space for their creativeness or like what they're actually doing and like what they're putting out there would be much better value for this time we're in than Addison Rae. But that's I, just, and I don't know I, why we got onto Addison Rae. I, why I, we got onto I do Addison agree Ray? with that. And I think there's always going to be better people and always going to be people that are more valuable. But I think it's more, it's on us. Like we're the people that give them the platforms. If we, no, 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 we and need I to be like tuning that. into the more, the people that if we think they're more, better for the world or bring more and sharing their content rather than sharing Addison's if we don't think she deserves that spot. But yeah. it's, and like, once I agree we've given with that, her that I just think platform, that it's like then I think it's cringy. just like, <laughs> then I think it's well, just I'm not, like, I'm saying it's to be for like us, Addison, but like, every, criticize her every move when she is doing what all of us would do in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll still criticize, but like I do. I yeah. No, she, everyone um, can still be criticized, but. That's just my opinion though. Anyway, yeah. off that, off that. <laughs> That was a big discussion about Addison Rae. And that brings us to an end of our people picks for today. And just to remind mm. you guys, if you guys want to submit a people pick, which is basically just any random topic you want to hear us <laughs> rant on as we've done, or an anonymous secret dilemma, or unpopular opinion, popular opinion feel free to head yes. over to our anonymous kind of submission form, which is in our Insta bio in the link tree go do it we love i want to next episode i want to do some secrets or no yes. advice questions somebody send in something we can give advice on even if it's bad oh, um, oh. Even, no i mean even if our advice is oh, bad. okay yeah um, but i love like little dilemmas um yeah. you you guys know they're always fun um i hope you guys enjoy them also love the ones where we have like multiple parts that's always fun because we get little the updates. follow-ups 100 <laughs> percent but yes um i hope you guys enjoyed this episode sorry the foot guy was so he here. swerved us i know he's probably oh, the first ep- half the episode hyping it up and then he's like, we like not oh. coming <laughs> and we literally like knew that we were recording so like we this morning so we're like oh we'll stop the recording if you're watching the video we're like we'll stop the recording and we'll do the rest of the episode tomorrow went after we were um for our like live reactions and like after we see him yeah well Thanks a lot for Guy, and I know he's listening. He is rude. listening. Yes. Rude, Thanks so rude, much. Rude, 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 rude. I was like low key excited, low key terrified. But <laughs> it's fine. As per usual, you can le- you should. You should leave a rating and review. You can find us on the undecided Gen Z on Instagram, Theo.McCoy, Ali underscore Malcolm, also on Instagram. And we have a Facebook group group and i think that's it <laughs> yes that's it. thank you so much for listening guys thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week with another episode bye bye guys